Okay, here is the uh, new right out of the box tracker, right? But it's not the newest firmware on it. Yeah, it's 1.99 firmware. Right, okay, okay. So this is the update tool, the USB thing. Where is it? And yeah, this here thing it is. Mm -hmm. was to update the firmware of the tracker. Mm -hmm. But today we use this cable to feed muffling data, transmission data to mini crossbow. Okay. I'll show you how to do that. Mm -hmm. So we can add this thing to the left port and then we power on. This autopilot, it outputs muffling data. So this is the ground mm -hmm. cable and this is the TS cable. With this <coughs> cable, mm -hmm. we need to share the ground between these two devices. Okay, obviously. Mm -hmm. And this yellow one, the yellow cable, is the wire we need to feed data from autopilot to the microscope. Okay, so black to black and uh, white to yellow. Yes, I'm working on it. And uh, black to black, mm -hmm. white, this one. Mm -hmm. My autopilot, mm -hmm. it's white. So connect to the yellow one. Okay, uh, with uh, with the different autopilot, it is whatever the color, but it is yeah. the transmitter. We share the transmitter. Okay. Yes. TX to RX. And mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't work. Why? Because we, do, we don't set the baud rate. We set the baud rate. This one, we use uh, five, seven, six, Mm -hmm. for rate mm -hmm. and by default this one use three eight four uh, go to the menu and we need to check if the hardware is connected correctly first we go to factory mm -hmm. we go to core data and can you see the rx number keep yep. increasing yeah it receives something but we are running on incorrect port rate mm -hmm. so it's still shows you so some it just shows data. that the link yeah. is established but, but it's inc uh, incorrect yeah okay so we need to adjust to the border rate of the left port okay. l border rate mm -hmm. go there by default it's not the border rate we are using so we choose 576 mm -hmm. and then you can see the link quality mm -hmm. um okay so 90% it shows this thing is now communicating with this autopilot. Okay. I know some people they... So this is already the Mavling data? Yes. Okay. Uh, but some autopilot by default, after power on, you need to handshake between ground station mm -hmm. and autopilot. Mm -hmm. Then it outputs uh, Mavling data. But how to make this thing output um, Telemetry data after power on. You need to set this telemetry. Go to OSD, choose enable telemetry. Mm -hmm. After you enable telemetry, just power on. The autopilot will keep sending telemetry data. You don't need a handshake. I understand. Okay, this, this tracker is a different one, right? Yeah. Um, this tracker has the most updated firmware, V2.0, and it also has um, a board. Uh, this board, we put it on a web shop uh, for symbolic $1. So our old clients, they can uh, place the order online just for $1. Yeah, but plus shipment fee, right? Oh, yes. And... I'm showing you how to use this board to feed muffling data mm -hmm. to the checker. Okay, connect to the left port. Power on. Uh, let me introduce this board. With this board, you can connect a Bluetooth module, update the cable, let's turn GPS. Uh, but today, I'm going to uh, use this this board to feed muffling data, telemetry data. Okay, let's try that. You can connect this thing to any of the three socket. I use this one. So, 
black is the ground mm -hmm. and yellow we use this cable to feed telemetry data mm -hmm. to the mini crossbow and we got something new in the menu uh, enter first we choose the left port port rate to five seven six and then we need to choose the protocol use um, we can use any in this case mm -hmm. but if you use uh, left and right port in the same time you need to tell the tracker what we're going to use on the left we're going to use choose this is GPS and this is math link this is S port so today we use math link for the mm -hmm. left port mm -hmm. okay Zero. So now we don't have any temperature data. This is the autopilot, and uh, this is the cable. We share the ground, and the white cable is the temperature data. To the left, uh, yeah. to the to the yellow. Uh -huh. Yes, and then can you see? We have something. Uh, uh, D link ninety percent. Yes. Yes, disconnect. Mm -hmm. So, with this board, you can connect your uh, <clears throat> multiple devices. For example, you can connect your Bluetooth module. In the same time, you connect um, your external GPS. Mm -hmm. And this cable can be also used to the right port. Here, mm -hmm. we have a um, description about this board. Uh, can you see? Yep. So, LR. Left when side. you connect this thing to the left port, mm -hmm. number one, two, three, four, five, you can see five mm -hmm. volt transmit. Uh, you can see. And when you connect this thing to the right port, mm -hmm. you should check this. Your R. That means in this case, the five wires, number one, two, three, four, five, you check this IS1 mm -hmm. video. So we can also use the right connector to feed temperature data. Let me show you. Number one, can you see? Number mm -hmm. one. Okay. Right, I'm working on it. So I need to choose the border rate for the right port. Border rate. Then we go to choose the protocol for the right. This one I'm gonna use my GPS. So the right port we're gonna use Mufflink. Okay. Uh, when you connect to the right port, number one is the monthly data, number five is ground. Mm -hmm. So this time we connect the cable here. So number, number five, one, and number five is yeah, ground, right. and number one is red. Mm -hmm. So we feed telemetry data, share the ground, and we connect. Damage data to pane number one. D-link. Can you see? D-link yeah, in 20% only. Oh no, so, sorry, yeah. my, my uh, loose connection. Yeah. Try again. If I saw it 100%. Again. Okay. Uh, not yet. I'm sorry, it's too difficult to. Okay, again. Yeah, D link is there. Wait, 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 wait. keep it 70%. <laughs> I'm sorry, my. Yeah, I understand. My okay. Yes. Yeah. So, connecting to different port, you use different definition mm -hmm. of this, these wires. <laughs> just just check this. Just refer to the this, reverse this table. side, yeah. Yes.
Okay. This is how you do it, Mavlink. So there is no problem connecting Mavlink to the mini tracker. Yes, and with the most updated firmware, we also support smart port. Smart port is another transmission data from FL Sky. No. Okay, but we we talk about that next time. Mm, not today.